On question 15, a solve your equation from item 14. So we're solving the equation that we came up with on the previous question, and we are interpreting our solution. We're seeing what it means in the context of the situation of filling that pool. So um, maybe you remember that the equation that we came up with was there are 20,000 gallons in the pool currently, and we're going to add 7 1,800 gallons to that pool every hour until it reaches a full, a full, can't say that, uh, 43,000 gallons. Okay, and all we're doing here is solving this. This one, gosh, there's no way, there, sure, there's large numbers in it, but uh, there's nothing complicated here. So first I got to get rid of this 20,000, so I'm going to subtract 20,000 from both sides. So when I do, I get 78,000 h is equal to 23,000. Okay, and uh, let's just make this a little bit easier here and cross off some zeros. So basically, I just divided both sides by 100. So I have 78h is equal to 230. And divide by 78h is equal to 230 over 78. And I'm just going to punch that into the calculator. And when I do, I get about 2.95 when you round. And, and what is this? So we just solved it, but the other part was interpreting the solution. So what does it mean, this 2.95 for H? Well, remember, H is how much time in hours it's going to take to fill the pool. So specifically, we're saying that this is telling us it's going to take about three hours to fill the pool. And so there is the interpretation of our solution.